you know, uh, we uh, we got this new system, so we're going to be shutting down PSV the digital store. Or better yet, don't be crooked when you sell something, when you sell kits months before uh, you make the announcement that the development, that the digital store is going to be shut down forever. It's got to be last minute decisions for the last couple of years. That's the only reason why that they haven't been organized very well for the past five years now. Most of these gaming companies. Oh, sure. There was always layoffs. There was always turnovers. You know, the rise and fall of certain companies like Warped and Neversoft now. Well, Neversoft is not going to doing so well or not a business anymore. But still, like, you don't, you don't expect all this disorganization from this many gaming companies. Yeah, from, from a company this big. Oh, yeah, definitely that big, like, like Sony. And also, I uh, remember, uh, well, it's kind of funny to think about it now. Go back to 2014 or 2013 when the uh, Xbox One and PS4 were unveiled. And Xbox One wanted to put DM, DRM in all their games. And they said uh, your Xbox One had to connect every, every uh, to the internet every 24 hours or become a paperweight. And, the P and then when Sony had their... Uh, unveiling of the PS4. They're like, don't worry, you'll still be able to trade games with friends. You'll still be able to sell your games back to GameStop. Your console doesn't have to constantly connect to the internet. We're not doing any of those bad practices. And Sony looked at like a good, uh, and Sony was looked at like a good company. Then Microsoft backpedaled three days later. Especially after that commercial that Sony made back in uh, 2013, where they said that like this is how you trade a game, and then they, you see an Oriental man and a Asian and a and a white person trading physical games together, just like one game from one one hand to another hand, and said this is trading games. <laughs> it was funny. It, it was very simple, but it made millions of dollars off of that off of that um, that type of situation. Because they found out Microsoft's weakness was also about making money or maintaining a competition at best. So. Right. I mean, yeah. So, I mean, you know, these come. I mean, so, but my point is back then Sony was looked at like, okay, if Microsoft does something ridiculous, we got Sony, you know, who's been here for basically from the, the beginning because they were supposed to, they were originally going to create a CD add-on for the Super Nintendo. That's what the PlayStation was originally going to be. Yeah. And, you know, if Microsoft does something we don't like, we got Sony that we can jump to. Most of the third-party games would be on both consoles, so the only thing we would miss out on is the exclusives. But if Microsoft has backwards practices, we could jump to Sony. Now it's Sony that's doing the unethical thing. <laughs> Well, what's this I mean, back and forth thing? Like, don't they don't they keep track of for the last twenty years of what they do? I mean, Major Nelson, he's the programmer of Xbox Live of the the achievement system of Xbox Live all altogether, and he's been with the company for almost twenty years, if not longer. I mean, at least you should listen to Major Nelson. Like, hey guys, you should not do what you did back during Xbox One years and stuff like that, and as well as you know Sony with. Uh, uh, with who's that? Who's who's the CEO of Sony now? I'm not sure who he is, who, who he is right now. But back, I'm sure he was around for for many years. He should see the trend as well. Uh, let's see. The CEO of Sony is Kanichiro Yoshida. He, but he only became the CEO back in 2018. Ah. Uh. Let's see. Sony CEO. Let's see if I can find like a history of them. Might have to go to Wikipedia for that. Yeah. Because because Wikipedia shows all the lists of like leaders and politicians that took office of certain titles. Right. Almost every um, leader depends on what country, culture, uh, company, you name it. So. <laughs> It does. It doesn't have. It doesn't have like the CEO history. Who was um, Sony CEO? Let's see. In two thousand. Let's see if I can find that. Um, Ideo not no boy Yuki, um, who served as chairman from two thousand to two thousand five, and CEO of 
1999 to 2005 of Japanese electronics giant Sony Corporation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so who was the CEO in 06? Sir Howard Stringer, um, till 2012, okay, 2013. Kaz Hyrie, um, until, and he stepped down in 2018 when this new guy came in. Uh, this Neil Manowitz. So, yeah, okay, so, but, I mean, you know, the, regardless whether you have different CEOs or not, it's just, it's just like, it's like, now it's Sony doing the uh, bad things, and yes, I know, Microsoft, they tried to uh, raise the price of uh, games with gold subscription behind everyone's back, and then after the backlash, two days later, they backed up on that decision. Yeah, now now if you want to buy the the full year of Xbox subscriptions, you have like two six months on Amazon for about forty dollars each. So that's eighty dollars a year. Well, I'm not buying no more Xbox Gold anymore after after next month. So that's our last really? month of gold. Yeah. Why don't Why don't you just buy it through your Xbox One? No, I'm talking about like not buying no more Gold memberships. Yeah, I'm I'm. I was. I'm about to. I'm about to renew my gold membership. No, don't renew the gold membership. Just don't. But don't buy no more. Send a message to Microsoft. Now, there's still. There's still. There's still games you can still play with your Xbox. But I'm saying you're not gonna buy. I'm not gonna. I personally myself, I'm not gonna buy no more Xbox Live Gold or Game Pass. I'm gonna stick with well, the, the Halo. Gonna, well, the thing is, I can still renew my. Uh, I actually got an email from Microsoft not too long ago. Uh, just saying that my membership is set to expire on May 5th, and on May 6th, I'm going to be charged another $60. Hey, what a coincidence. My, my, my membership is May 5th as well, the last day. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. So they, said on, they said on May 6th, they're going to charge me $60 again, and I was thinking, you know, why not? Why not? Why miss out on the four free games a month? Well... It's not free, James. You you, you remember that, right? It's like you basically, you <laughs> you, you don't understand. It's not free games with gold that try to convince us the first couple of years of this program. And now for the last what three four years they've been calling it games with gold. So as long as they have a gold membership, they ain't getting play these games. You're renting them eternally until you still pay it until everything shuts down, whatever the case may be. So that's why, mm -hmm. and, and I was convinced by. Enjoy game and my my, uh, my my protege not protege but my confidant it comes to gaming like he actually explains to me the concept behind what good games of gold is supposed to be like and that's why console and what console games don't understand which is you and I James we don't understand that we're being gypped all the time but if you even, but for PC yeah. gamers like 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 my confidant if you want to call him that. He actually knows what's going on. He's not playing that game anymore. How are we being gypped? So what did he tell you exactly? Well, okay. Obviously, we're paying a, a, a monthly membership to a yearly membership, depending upon how much you can afford. And why is right. that we have to play online as console gamers, but the PC gamers are not? And there's a big trend of what he hears among the communities that people are questioning for the Master Chief Collection version of the Xbox, not Xbox One, but the uh, PC version, people who go to PC from, from, the, from the console are questioning, like, hey, why am I spending $80, $60, $50 a, a year on, on, on memberships, knowing that I go on PC and play how many games are very similar to the console, and it's all for free. And the only thing I play pay is like maybe like the skins and stuff like that and, and new loot boxes. But with Xbox is like add on with the membership. They just basically try to they they they're using the money for the sake of just getting more money. They're not maintaining the servers. They're not maintaining any anything else but they're adding advertisement to the front page of our Xboxes that we turn on. And I'm like, wait a second, they 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 put advertisements on on our homepage like what's that about you know i ne i've never mentioned i've never seen how advertisements like on the xbox dashboard 
Well, if you see in the, uh, uh, in the main the main section of the homepage of the Xbox One dashboard, you'll see an advertisement every now and then telling you about baseball or football or army stuff like that. And I and I've seen it lots of times throughout the years of having the Xbox One. I just never questioned it until recently that, that I'm starting to see the trend of where why should I spend sixty dollars a year just to play Halo Best Collection online where I can play it on the PC. Well if you if you have the if you have a gaming PC that that might be um that's understandable but keep in mind you know if you if you let your membership run out and you don't renew it any games that you don't have downloaded you're not gonna have access to either. Not necessarily. I pay for these yeah, games. Most of them. It, yes, because I went online without. With, I went on my Xbox One without like, uh, like when my internet wasn't working, and I couldn't like all the games that were like in the ready to install section. I couldn't download. Well, uh, of course, mm -hmm. if you don't have no internet, yeah, no internet. It sucks, right? But um, but in today's world, in the year twenty twenty one, Xbox is expecting their players to pay for something that's not being benefited in their favor as ga as as console gamers like you and I are. And I'm not saying that I will not play Xbox at all or to pay for the membership anytime anytime soon. But at the same time if I don't see no change within a few months after after the new releases for the Xbox Series X and S and see the the releases of PS5 if between these two consoles, if I don't see nothing big going on for the next year or two, I'm not going to come back. I'll just stick with um, my PC. I mean, I won't have a lot of games to play on my PC, really, but I'm willing to sacrifice you know, spending all my money on something that, that that's not beneficial for me as a gamer. Oh, sure, I get the games with gold. I get the Game Pass... Uh, discount if you want to combine the offers for a few months rather than a for a year subscription or whatever but still it's not worth it after a while because all I'm doing is just spending more money just to keep a few games around that I barely play especially Gears of War 5 well Gears of War 5 that's, but, uh, that's beside the point <laughs> um, I'm, just, I'm just saying you know I'm just saying you know okay okay these games are not free but if you think about it, if you're paying the annual membership, you're paying $65 and you're gaining access to about 48 games that you didn't have access to before. Yes, but, but, but te temporarily speaking, it depends on the game itself. For the last two or three years, what big title games were for free or games with gold, whatever the title is, for to get these games? through the Xbox Gold membership. We haven't seen much. Oh sure, there was uh, the Avenger Time game, then there was also the Ninja Gaiden game, I think it once was, something like that. One, yeah, one, Ninja uh, Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge. And there's also another Ninja game called Ar Argamani. That, that's like a sl slow paced like stealth game made by an independent um, studio. That was a good game to play, but uh, that's it. I mean, I can't. I can't think of nothing else out of all for the last three years. Of uh, how about, of, how about Tom Clancy's The Division? I already have Division, the first one especially. I bought yeah, it. I bought that was, I, that was from Games with Gold. Yeah, but I bought it five years ago. <laughs> I bought it five years ago, bro. Well, why, why, why okay. would you do that to your to your console gamers? Why is that you sell, selling the Division 1 console bundle of the Elite console back in 2016, 2015 for about 400 bucks? Then all of a sudden you come back three, four years ago and selling it for free as games with gold. And you still have to pay for it if, 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 if you don't have the, uh, if, if you want to keep playing it. And that's fine. Right. If, I, if, I, if I have to stop, like I said, if I have to stop, Playing, paying for games with gold to start to not play them, so be it. No big deal. But as console, oh, but as 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 the uh, PC gamer, they're smarter than us. They're seeing the bullshit. So they're not they're not smarter. I mean, keep in mind, you know, PC gaming can also be a lot more expensive than console gaming. Yeah, uh, not PC, anymore. Uh, PC gaming. I mean, if you have a, like a really good gaming PC, it's 
expensive. Not necessarily anymore. It depends on how well you, you're knowledgeable with computers. Trust me, if you're not going, if you're not getting a lap, even a gaming laptop, can you one can run you close to like a thousand dollars, and that's like the bare minimum for gaming. And that's what I'm trying to tell uh, this guy who's like in his twenties, early twenties. He's saying that like, oh, you can buy, uh, you can build your PC. And I told him that everyone's a computer giant genius like you. Not everyone can can right. uh, can can, uh, can assemble. A PC game by themselves in a matter of, in a matter of time that's that's suitable. Oh sure, I'll eventually learn how to make a computer one day from scratch or build computers to, from different parts and means. But that's it. I'm not, and that's not not everyone's going to do that. They're going to have some professional like Hewlett Packard, Dell, IBM to build that PC and. I, I understand where you're, where you're coming from, James. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that, that you're stupid and I'm stupid and we're both stupid and whatever the case may be. But it's just that the way he said it, if I could have him on at least one podcast, he's not he's not a big he's not big on exposing himself, but he, he he's basically telling trying to tell me what, what, what I've been missing out for many years as a as a PC gamer. All right, well, I mean, also, keep in mind uh, some offers that we've gotten from Gold. Uh, I don't have the dates in front of me, but I did turn on my Xbox One. Like, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, they had Battlefield 1. Um, what else? Uh, Friday the 13th was eventually a game with Gold. Uh, what else? Um, like, let's see what I mean? <laughs> After a while, oh, it's like, yeah. what's the purpose? Well, I'm just looking at triple A games that I that we didn't that I didn't have, you know, uh, like a couple of games like Friday Thirteenth, Gears of War Four. I did have physically, but then when they were available for Games with Gold, I installed them through Games with Gold and then sold off the physical copy. But you know, they were they were good they were good games. I mean, not okay, not all of them were um, were slam dunks. But you know, some but some of but some of these games and some even some of the games that weren't, you know, triple A uh triple A quality was were good. Like um what else? Uh what's 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 it like speedrunners was pretty good, uh pick up and play game. Um what else was pick up and play? You'll have to you'll have to kill yourself over learning or memorizing what you what you want to get or not get. So. Okay. Well, I just turned off my Xbox One. But yeah, you know, I was I'm I'm the only thing I'm thinking about is whether to pay for the six for the additional twelve months now, and then so it's just out of the way, or to just wait till May and then let them recharge. I'm I would. I want to cancel I mean, my subscription by my next month, by the days before um, May fifth. So. Okay, uh, but you know, I'm still gonna be trying. I mean, at least you'll be able to get the April sixteenth games and the games that are available on May first. Yeah, you're right. Also, is Xbox Live Gold required to play free play games like uh, free play day games? As of recently, they say they finally let people play free to play. On Xbox uh, Live. I'm talking... What? I'm not. Th- I'm not talking about free to play. I'm talking about free play days where you can download a game for a weekend. Um, let's see. Do free play days require Xbox Gold? Because I played some good games that way. Yeah, you have to have gold uh, with the free the play perks, days. Yeah, one of one of the perks is uh, both gold and Game Pass is free play days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like if so if they have like a game available for a weekend, that's how I played Assassin's Creed uh with Odyssey. Um I played Just Cause Four. I played um The Division Two. Mm-hmm. Um you know, all these games that I played I would never have had the chance to play. And I really gotta check Xbox Gold again, um, see what they're offering this weekend, if anything. Right. But, yeah, so, I mean, I'm going to be renewing my membership. I'm surprised you just don't want to renew yours. 
Well, I've been convinced, that's why. And I'm not trying to say that I'm following everyone's lead about uh, PC gaming. It's just that I have so many... I've been accumulating a lot of PC game collections. Like, I saw games on sale for, like, $3 here, $5 there. Like, games like Little Nightmares. Games like uh, uh, Error, Become Human is, is free to play. Then there's also Tacoma, which I think I bought that... Um, I bought that on Xbox, yes. I could play that on that game without without Xbox Gold. So that's a good thing. That type of stuff. So basically it's a hit and miss. I might have to go back and forth. My PC is stuff that I have now. It's not the best of the best PC to play games on. As long as I put out lower resolutions, lower shadows, low quality, for 30 frames per second at the most, you know, I'll be fine. I can play like that. No big deal. I'm not. I'm not big on huge graphics and stuff like that. Yes, it's part of it, but you know, for the time being, until I get that better PC for my uh, for my for my home office, you want to call like that. You know, I live in a, I live in my own room by myself, and you know, I, I the only thing I have is just the the PC and the uh, and the TV and the Xbox One S. So. So you don't. Uh, so you don't think. Uh... But uh, you don't buy games digitally either, because keep in mind Xbox Gold also lets gives you discounts on different games that you wouldn't get otherwise. Yeah, you're right. Most of that I will hold off on Xbox for the time being for buying from there. I will admit that it's gonna okay. be a very it's gonna be a very hard moment in my life to realize that I, you know, it's not, and not everything's Xbox because I felt I I kind of follow the Xbox trend for 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 about thirteen years now. And by next month, it's going to be 13 years in, like, two or three months, you know? Well, yeah, but the thing is, I mean, it's it's not really a trend if you enjoy what you're playing. You know, and when I had the choice between Sony and Microsoft, I chose Microsoft. Likewise. Mind, I, still, I still have a PlayStation 3, and, well, my Xbox 360 doesn't work. But I still have, a, you know, PlayStation 3, so I could have easily went to PlayStation 4 instead. You're right, but, but it was the but it was the exclusives, the first party exclusives, that uh, drove me towards Microsoft. Uh huh. Well, so, but now since the Master Chief Collection, but now since the Master Chief Collection is available on on the PC, I, I don't have to have Xbox Gold to play it on the PC. Okay. You, you um, notice that, right? You know, you know, you know. Each their own because you can always buy it. You know. Yeah, but but um, you notice that, right? You notice how gypped is that? Like you're like you you tell me you're telling us console players we can play for free on that on Xbox's uh Master Chief Collection on the PC for free? Like wow. You know, it 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 changed the dynamics of uh what people want to want with Xbox Live. So Did you download any of these free uh so called free games on your computer yet? Yeah, so far I downloaded uh, Injustice uh, 1, Gods Among Us. That was okay. for free. Then I also had the Sonic uh, Adventure 2 game for about 3 4 bucks. I paid for. Little Nightmares I spent for less than $5. Then there's also uh, Tacoma, which I think I think it was on sale for about $10. I should have bought that while still on sale. So... You know, okay. and the only thing left is the Master Chief Collection, and I, and that's on sale for twenty bucks until September. And that's until, until uh, April twelfth. Okay, so I mean, you know, ex, uh, I'm I'm renewing my membership. Um, yeah, sure. Maybe sometime this week or next week for another year. Um, but then again, I don't play games on PC. The only games I play on PC are Total Extreme Wrestling. Okay. So you know, if I play something on Xbox One. Um, which I definitely will when I'm letting this podcast uh, publish later tonight. Um, that'll be some. That'll be something. Plus, I watch YouTube all the time on my Xbox One. But that's actually not. That's actually you can do that without Xbox Live Gold. You can watch YouTube on your Xbox One, but you need an Xbox Live Gold subscription if you want to watch YouTube on your Xbox 360. Hmm. Interesting. That's, that's weird. Technology okay. is not, it's definitely not perfect, that's for certain. <laughs> okay, 